Oh, Christmas tree, oh, Christmas tree, you stand in splendid beauty. Oh, Christmas tree, oh, Christmas tree, you stand in splendid beauty. Your branches green in summer's glow, and ever green in winter snow. Oh, Christmas tree, oh, Christmas tree, you stand in splendid beauty. Oh, Christmas tree, oh, Christmas tree, you stand in splendid beauty. When I was young, I used to have anxiety. I used to worry about a lot of things in this world. But now that I'm older, I've learned to get rid of my anxiety and to just welcome each day with a blessing and a thankfulness and a joy. I start my day with a prayer as I look out the window at the beautiful sky. I dress in clothing that is made with natural materials that gives my body a wonderful vibration and just the feeling of having something natural next to my skin. I love clothing that is beautiful, clothing that catches my eye, my favorite colors. It all really matters in bringing joy, peacefulness, and happiness into my life. Materials that I like to dress in are cottons, wool, linen, silk. I also like to have things around me that are beautiful, that nourish my soul, and other little beings that I love. A form of mindfulness that I do a lot is creating things. I love to create videos, do photography, and fiber arts. So here you can see me doing a mindfulness activity of creating by using fibers. So this is a crocheting technique that I'm using to make a small blanket with wool. It's 100% merino wool. It's in a beautiful chocolate brown. And I'm not really sure what I'm going to use this small blanket for yet, but I am having a wonderful time creating. It's very mindful and relaxing, and it just really brings my heart joy to create things with fibers. Another form of mindfulness that I do on a regular basis is cook wonderful food and bake wonderful things. So today I'm just putting my hair up so that I don't get anything in the food. <laughs> stay tidy and neat while I'm cooking and baking and I put on this apron that I think is very beautiful. This apron is very functional, it's very pretty, it has pockets and it keeps my dress clean. If you are all wondering where I purchased these um, beautiful clothes, <laughs> They are actually uh, done by a company called Scarlet Darkness and it focuses on past times, designs from the 1700, 1800, and 1900 era. I just seem to find myself drawn to past times. I love vintage clothing, vintage shoes, different types of things like antique furniture, old photographs, and there's nothing wrong with that. I actually embrace that more now than ever, and I'm just enjoying dressing in the type of clothes that I really find the most beautiful, and I also like to try old recipes. I love to go to vintage stores and antique stores, even if I'm not shopping for anything in particular, it's just a lot of fun for me emotionally and spiritually to be able to roam around and look at things from the past. 
Today I'm baking bread, just a basic white bread, all natural, and I will put the recipe in the description below for all of you. You can also find a printout of this recipe and some of my other recipes at my patreon.com page or my buymeacoffee.com page as well. So this is just a very simple bread recipe, daily bread. It takes no time or effort at all to make and I'm making a very small loaf just for myself. I find that it just feels so much better to eat healthy, natural, organic foods whenever possible. I try to stay away from chemicals, GMOs, and sugars, and this bread does not require any of those things. It is simply water, flour, yeast, salt, and olive oil. Cooking and baking is a form of mindfulness in itself, and it's also a form of creativity. So I really enjoy doing this, and I would say that I probably bake or cook something at least once or twice a day. I very rarely eat out, and when I do, I really don't feel that well after I've eaten the food that comes from a fast food place or a restaurant in town. Another form of mindfulness that I do on a daily basis is reading. And I love to read about history. I love to read the classics. It's just food for the soul, food for the mind. It's so relaxing and it just broadens your horizons. I really enjoy reading old books. I like to hear the words of our forefathers. I like to learn things about the old sciences, history, how people were living and communicating with one another, how people treated one another back in the day. I think it's really, really enlightening and we can compare it to what's happening in our lives today. Today I'm reading about the rights of man. These are the words of Thomas Paine. And these were words from back in the day, a different century, but they apply to us now, today. They are very, very important words of wisdom. Our little dog Muffin has come by my side just to receive love and to give love. Animals are also a form of mindfulness and can bring joy and peace in one's life. I'm going to read you a small part of The Rights of Man. To choose our own governors, to cashier them for misconduct, to frame a government for ourselves. Important words to ponder. It seems as though humanity has always had similar problems with communities and governments rules and taking care of communities. Sometimes it's best not to forget history. It's best not to forget the words of our forefathers because they apply to what we're going through today. If you struggle with stress, anxiety, sadness, feelings like life is just too depressing or stressful or that you can't make it through, consider adding many of these different forms of mindfulness techniques into your daily life and you should feel so much better, so much more at peace and at ease. Practice being grateful and saying thank you. Wake up in the morning and put a smile on your face and just reach up to the sky and say, thank you, thank you for everything, I am so grateful. Breathe the air, take deep breaths, and just feel your presence in this world. You are valuable and you are loved. Until next time, have a wonderful, wonderful day. Thank you.